Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to do another reaction video. We're going back to King Frostmare's channel. Uh, this video is called The Scariest Videos of Demonic Entities Caught. If you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up, subbing to the channel and ringing the bell for alerts of new videos and live streams. If you want to discuss this or any of my videos, please feel free to leave comments. Uh, I do get back to them as soon as I can. Or if you do catch us going live, come by and have a chat and we can discuss anything you want to discuss there in the meantime let's get the cans on hope it's a good one pop by king frostmare's channel the link is in the description and drop them a sub if you wouldn't mind just to show some support and let's give it a watch and see what it's all about shall we hello guys time for more demonic encounters that are simply terrifying now let's take a look at some of Rosanna's latest uploads. She is still dealing with poltergeist activity in her home. She was trying to protect herself with a cross today as she witnessed things getting out of hand once more. She tells us that at this point she felt paralyzed and dropped her phone to the ground. She didn't remember anything after this. Could it be that the paranormal energy in her home is getting stronger? Right. <laughs> There's so much to take in here. There's stuff flying everywhere. I believe this is the girl that saw that creepy shadow guy in the hallway. I could be wrong. I think it's the same um, event as such it does seem to be getting stronger there's a lot of stuff the stool the bike possibly could be her manipulating stuff but the table seems a bit too heavy to be pulled with strings and stuff i don't know it's there's a lot going on here what do you guys think i think we're sort of getting to the point where it's getting a bit silly but if it is believable and from the previous videos that have been uploaded, I'd have probably been out there a long time ago, to be honest. But what do you guys think? A lot. Night. There's a lot to take in there. A man named Matias was walking home through the streets of Rosario, yeah. Argentina, when he noticed something strange and decided to record and observe it closely. We've seen this one last week as well, I believe. Well, a few weeks ago. Y ven el árbol, ven allá. Lo ven? Acá, acá. Ahí en el medio. It just looks like a digital glitch. That I mean, I know it just sort of appears for a split second, and it it doesn't seem to affect the tree or anything like that. But it's it's weird. Me llamó muchísimo la atención de la cuadra anterior que lo veía. A ver, vamos a sacar. Mi casa está acá a la vuelta. Mira. ¿Qué sé? As he walks home, he sees a strange shadow figure appear for a second before vanishing. When he approaches the tree to take a look, a chilling scream is heard. 
without thinking much about it. He goes home and continues with his life. But the following night, he begins to hear strange noises coming from outside his house. Estoy sintiendo, estoy sintiendo hace un rato ruido acá atrás y no sé si, no sé qué mierda es. O esto es re oscuro. Hey, hola. Hey. Concha de tu madre. ¿Qué carajo es eso? Más una sombra y uff, veo cosas por todos lados. Este es un cuarto, una casa, la casa de acá atrás es como un cuarto de que guardamos cosas, pero estoy sintiendo como un golpeteo. Bueno, no nada. Ey, 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 ey. Puta madre. Todo el tiempo ruido, todo el tiempo ruido. No, no, no. He hears an unknown voice, so he decides to simply open the door and go back inside. But it seems that whatever Invited was outside in. might have followed him through the door. Again, this is another one. It, there's so much going on. It's, it is creepy. I mean, that the scream initially is pretty horrendous. But to hear all this going on as well, it's it's bizarre. Later in the night, he begins to hear eerie sounds, this time from inside the house. Se escucha el ruido. Acá está la habitación de mi hija. Yeah, it's the crying noises that sort of pull us off this one a bit. Paranormal events begin to happen inside the house, but the only thing he finds is a strange doll inside the closet. Matthias lives alone and explains that his daughter actually lives far away with her mother. Perhaps that's why it wants to occupy the empty room. After a while, suddenly the lights go out in the house and he begins to hear chilling sounds once again. Wasn't noise is horrible. It doesn't appear to be moving that, because there's a catch at the top that seems to be rattling, but... Okay. 
The strange sounds seem to emanate mainly from inside the closet, but the only thing inside is this small, creepy toy. Otra vez ruido en la, en la pieza de mi hija. Qué pobre de, la, de los sonidos, los ruidos. Paren un poco, viejo. ¿Qué onda? Hey again, I, th I thought it was conveniently sort of steered that side so you couldn't see something moving to the left, but it's, it's, really it's weird because it, this door handle's still down when it opens. <laughs> but the crying noises just seem to be a bit OTT for me. The door handle begins to rattle before the door opens fully and slams shut by so itself. At that point, the door handle's still down. Itself. Matthias, terrified, doesn't dare to enter the room and decides to leave the house for the night. But as he's leaving, something catches his attention. Otra vez, otra vez, lo ruido en el patio, otra vez. Yo no sé si... Esa Sansa, pero esa mi perra tiene un cono, pero se escucha algo raro, eh. Uy, uy. A whistle is heard, and a dark figure manifests out of nowhere. It looks like what he saw a few nights ago by the tree. He believes that something has somehow attached itself to him and followed him home. But until we get more answers, all of this remains a mystery. Creepy, yes. Real? There seems to be another one here as well. I don't know, this is just my eyes, but there's obviously this face appeared. But it's weird. I don't know. I don't know what to make of this one. If it wasn't for the crying noises, I'd think it would be a bit more believable. But for something about that noise, just puts me off. It's just too clear. It, I don't know. It's weird. I could be wrong. What do you guys think? On the job. The following video comes from a babysitter who is recording the girl he's watching while she's playing with her toys. Out of nowhere, the girl tells him she has a doll that moves on its own. I think we'll say this one a long time ago. <laughs> You said it moves? Yeah. That doll? This doll? Yeah. Like you move it or? Wait, what? When does it move? When you play hide and seek with her. When you play hide and seek? Yeah. Not sure what to do, he lets curiosity take over and decides to play hide and seek with the creepy doll to see for himself if it really moves. <laughs> oh my god. Well, but Sadie, you scared me. <laughs> the dog comes out of nowhere and scares him, interrupting the hide and seek game before the doll has a chance That's to a move. Good jump scare, a little that later one, in the night, after putting the girl to sleep, he captures the dog, growling aggressively at the doll, as if it was sensing something isn't right. It this is a creepy looking fucking doll like to be fair. Staring at the doll. Not impressed like, is he? Or she, sorry. Let's see it. The dog growls at the doll while staring at it intently for a few minutes. We can clearly see that the dog is nervous being in the presence of this doll. 
A few hours later, in the middle of the night, the babysitter takes a nap when suddenly he hears a noise coming from the living room where the doll is placed. Realizing this, he takes out his phone to record everything and what he captures is truly terrifying. Potato. Mysteriously, one of the toys in the room right next to the doll turns on by itself. But the most terrifying thing is that the doll, which had been in the same position all day, begins to move, lifting its head to look at the babysitter before falling backward and scaring him. He then runs out of there. This spooky experience really scared the man. And we don't know if he'll return to this house to watch the girl again after seeing all this. Creepy. Why does everybody's phone turn into an absolute freaking potato at the most vital times? Like, surely phones now have the ability to record better than that in the dark. Like, I don't know. It, it is creepy, though, and it's a creepy-looking doll, to be fair. I wouldn't get Eleanor one of them. But um, what do you guys think? A group of ghost hunters surrounding Jago Papa TV went to check out a haunted cemetery at Letchworth Village. This is an old abandoned asylum in Stony Point, New York. It's known for strange happenings. The team brought cameras, a good sound recorder and flashlights to look for ghosts. Things got creepy as soon as they went inside. I know, man. So this doesn't feel right. Oh, dude, did you hear that? That was a creepy shadow, by the way. Dude. Looks like footsteps. Footsteps. Because it's one <gasps> in front of us. <gasps> While they were trying to figure out where some weird noises and footsteps were coming from, something even scarier showed up on their camera. That's ominous, that mine. I thought it might have been just the reflection, like the shadow of the guy in front of the guy with the lights, but I don't think it is. I think it's coming from behind that door. Because it sort of ducks behind, that's mad. It does look like a shadow as well, it doesn't look like a person. A dark shadow figure moved right in front of them, but that wasn't all. One of the team felt something touch their leg. Oh. Okay, I felt something touch my leg, bro. Possibility. It's like probably one of those pieces, probably. Dude, but that thing was insane. <laughs> you know, I think this is gonna be one of those nights, bro. It was literally like a clear room. Right? Nothing, no, no, none of the stuff right here. Okay. Yo, yo, no, mm -mm. no, no. <laughs> Say that guy laughing, that, that seems like a genuine reaction, that, to be fair. <laughs> no. These windows are blocked, there's no animals in here. This made everyone feel even more scared. Then, out of nowhere, they heard loud banging noises in the next room. It really freaked them out. When they looked in that room, they found nothing there at all. We don't know exactly what the team caught on camera that night. It looks like it will stay a mystery. But whatever happened, it sure spooked the ghost hunters. It seems legit. That, that seems like a 
proper reaction that like nervous just laughing but it doesn't really show what the noise if there was anything in the room to move or anything like that i know it says there's no animals and the windows are boarded and stuff but it didn't really show what was in the room but that shadow was pretty creepy give them that one some believe children have an amazing ability to connect with the spirit world. In some cases, they might even see or talk to the other side. In one video, a father was home alone with his son. The child seems to spot something really him. strange. Mama, no, no. Mama. <laughs> your mom isn't there. There's no one there. Are you seeing ghosts? <laughs> in another creepy video shared by Carl Harris, his family was visiting his grandmother in Chicago when his little cousin, Daya, says something unsettling. Let the man come to see you at night. Who comes to see you at night? The man. What Who? man? What man? Where are you going? Up here? Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't eat that. The little girl claims that a relative in an old photo on the wall visits her at night. The problem is that person is dead. In fact, the man in the photo died in 2005, more than 14 years before little Daya was born. She never even met the man. Who comes to see you at night? What man? What man? Up here? Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't he did. Or did she meet his ghost? What do you think? But it is creepy when kids do shit like that. Like there was that other one with the little boy that says there was somebody in his room, wasn't it? That that was bizarre. I don't know how I'd react if Eleanor said she saw something like that when she was little. Like that'd be mental. Obviously, you think they've got imaginary friends and stuff were at for at a point out the the photo and stuff it's bizarre a woman named jay said she had recently moved into an old house she inherited from her grandfather she says that since she arrived a few days ago she because you'd have that in your fucking sitting room Fuck right off She's been hearing strange noises at first she thought it was just the wooden floor creaking as she had just moved in, her grandfather's belongings were still in the house. The scary part is that most of these are dolls or old decorations that give Jay a creepy feeling. One night, while working on her computer, she said she saw something out of the corner of her eye. That would be straight in the fucking skip. Has its face changed? Just moved. Or is it just a bit? No, it's just a potato camera. I think. Let's poke its eyes out. That'll make it feel a lot better, wouldn't it? Poking its eyes out. Why, why are you going? Oh. 
Was that on the telly? That fucking noise put the chills on me there, mate. The door just moved. Fucking hell, man. Are you real? You can do it again. Then you'll be straight in the fucking fire. And won't watch. It was at this moment that Jay realized what she had seen minutes before wasn't her imagination, but real. First a wolf moves on its own several times and the door closes. A wolf? I've never heard Sky refer to it as a wolf. Oof. But the scariest part is how the hand of the creepy doll moves by itself. It's only when Jane films the mirror that it looks like the balloon and the door were trying to protect the doll or stop Jane from seeing it move. So far, Jane hasn't given an update. Could Jane's grandfather's house be haunted by those dolls? Would you sleep in that house? That is creepy as. I mean, obviously, it could just be manipulated in a bit of a setup, but. Would you have that in your house in the first place? And I know I bloody wouldn't. Awful, that. Late one night in central Alabama, an eerie incident unfolded at a local smoke shop. Jocelyn, working the night shift, was startled by strange noises from the store's back area around 11.30 p.m. Guys, I'm working by myself, and I hear voice in the back. She spotted something moving mysteriously. Viewers, equally puzzled, urged her to review the security camera footage. Oddly, the moving object failed to appear on the recordings. The night's peculiarities didn't end there. At approximately 4 a.m., with the shop closed and deserted, more inexplicable events occurred. Wow, we're looking at you. Security footage captured a ladder toppling without any visible cause, followed by a pillow seemingly materializing out of thin air and tumbling down the stairs. These unsettling occurrences left Jocelyn deeply disturbed. So much so, she's considering abandoning her position at the store altogether, unwilling to risk another encounter with these unexplained phenomena. It's a chilling tale that would make anyone question the limits of reality. So let's go upstairs. That's where like we be hearing all kinds of stuff. Yeah. But Creepy, but it could have just been people. I like to think it wasn't. But obviously you didn't see the source from where the cushion came from and the the ladder seemed to be overhanging the door a bit, so it could quite easily have been manipulated, but scary if it happens nonetheless. 
This case was documented by a man from Italy who states that he was playing around with a Ouija board as well and that his curiosity led him to play almost on the daily. He was a bit disappointed at first since for the longest time he didn't receive any answers from the other side. But eventually this should change and on this day he had to live through a chilling experience. You think you would give up, wouldn't you? Kita. Chi fa casino? I can hear it with the bloody music. Chi è che... Chi è che si sentiva? No, it was a vampire there, no reflection. Chi c'è? As he was all by himself at home that day, he began to hear what sounded like someone was walking around in the house. A loud noise behind him made him jump in fear and it was more than evident that something was with him at that moment, but he wasn't able to see anything. This was just the beginning however. Three days later his wife would be left alone at home. And this is where it got even more creepy. Kita? Chi è stato? Chi ha bussato? Non sei vero? Yes! Non sono pazza. Non sono pazza. C'è qualcuno? Chi c'è? Dove sei? Fatti vedere. Dove sei? Dove? Da dove? La cucina, la cucina, la cucina. Cazzo. Cazzo. Qui sto sfuggendo. Someone was knocking on the door, and then we see that something had thrown glasses on the floor in the kitchen. Just more proof that the use of a Ouija board comes with great danger. The family is still investigating this case, and perhaps there will be more updates very soon. Why the top cupboard? There's like all this other stuff. <laughs> that these encounters are all connected, and that evil energy in his home is causing all of this. Is this possible? We'll keep our eyes open. What's that one now? Is it skipped some? Did we skip something now? A man named Axel Losa has shared yeah. the following unsettling encounter. He states that he was in a public bathroom at the time when he heard strange knocks coming from one of the stalls. It was so. You hear them all the time in Barra. Look now. Strange to him that he decided to pull his phone out and to start recording since nobody else was in the bathroom at the time. Que pues no hay nada, vean, ahí está mi reflejo, mi reflejo, pero vean de este lado, pues aquí no hay nada, vean, acá tampoco, vean, aquí 
tampoco hay nada. Aquí pues tampoco hay nada. Y acá el lugar es bastante pequeño, ya está mi reflejo. Pero a ver, hoy. Escuchar. Escucharon. I think I've said this one before as well, but it is quite creepy. First, we can hear some strange noises as if someone was hitting something. This is when Axel begins his video and starts investigating all the stalls. Then, in one of them, you can see a pale and creepy face. It's barely visible through the small space it could just of the, be the room, loop, but when he looks inside, quick plans, there's nobody like there, which eye. makes Axel believe that this could have been a ghost, perhaps. It is quite creepy, though. It is unknown if it was just editing or if somebody had played a prank on him, but he was pretty startled after experiencing this. What do you think happened here? Mad. Plot of taking the way I've seen a few of them before and we've revisited that that first one's getting a bit silly now. The I think she's French girl, isn't she, in the apartment, but it's it's all getting a bit much, but like I say, I can't explain the table. Some of the other stuff, yeah, can be pulled or kicked or whatever, but the table seemed to look like it would take a lot more effort to fold over than what might have been possible with strings or whatever. But what do you guys think? Um, yeah, it's good to get back in the swing of all this again. I've been enjoying doing these, especially in the lead up to Halloween. I'm going to try and get a few more out in the next week. Um... Let us know what you think in the comments. Very much appreciate it for that. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, if you haven't already, please hit the thumbs up on the video, sub to the channel, and ring the bell for alerts for the stuff happening. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers for watching, guys. Appreciate it.